Last time on Shotoku Tech, I was talking about these XB serial transceivers, and I had one hooked up to a GPS unit transmitting to the other, and you can see these are working together just as though they were when I first programmed them six or seven years ago. Now it's time to do a range test. So these two XB serial transceivers are working just the way they did when I programmed them six or seven years ago. The remote unit has a GPS chip attached to it and it's transmitting GPS data to the base unit. I've got this PowerShell script that digests the data and turns it into something that's readable that you can plot on a map. It's all looking good, so we need to take it out into the field. So here's the scenario, I'm working by myself, so you can see the base stations locked inside the Mercedes, and if you look carefully, I've highlighted it with this big red arrow, you can see me walking off in the distance. And I get so far, and once you get past all this chain link fence and hit that big metal pole, it looks like I lose the signal. So here's the data from that first test and we basically got just a little over two minutes and you can see the numbers shift slightly as I'm moving around. And now let's put that out on the map. So here's what it looks like on the map. We'll throw in the satellite view and that's how far this transmission got. We're going to try again. So I set out going west in the parking lot trying to maintain line of sight. This way I wouldn't have all that chain link fence and the metal poles in the way. And I got about three minutes worth of data. I think somehow I got obscured by a car in the parking lot. And this is what it looks like on the map. I got two tenths of a mile. And here's the satellite view. So I wanted to try again on a street where we would have good line of sight because I think having the base station inside the car was interference, the fence in the park was interference, the tall metal poles was interference. So I wanted to eliminate all the interference and work with the line of sight. So we set out from Stefan Golub Park. I went to the north on Prudence. Let's go ahead and establish our starting point here. This is the data from the remote that we captured on the base station. Here was our first fix. And that's good, that's exactly where we were. We were in the parking lot at Stefan Gola Park. So I set out the base station and I made it this far before I detected that the signal dropped from the remote. Now let's see how far the remote got. Here's the data that I captured on the base station from the remote. There's the starting point. We got up to 435 p.m. where you see this break in the signal. So that's as far as we got. got this far before the signal got dropped and if we take the starting point out we can see we got four tenths of a mile I wanted to get half a mile line of sight between these two transceivers but I got four tenths of a mile I guess I'm gonna have to put it in a rocket just to be sure it'll be interesting anyway so that's the XB transceivers the remote transmitting GPS data to a base station and we got up to four tenths of a mile. I'm going to look at some other hardware as well. All right, thank you very much. Won't you please subscribe to Shotoku Tech? Then maybe little Bobby won't have to walk the streets. Thank you very much.